It is going to be hot, though. We need to talk about this heat. Uh, if you're coming out, make sure to drink lots and lots of water. Right, uh, right now, it's in the low 90s. We're going to be looking at low to mid 90s uh, during the afternoon on Saturday. Your future heat index, I mean, it's going to feel like 98 by late tomorrow afternoon. Uh, our first alert weather days, though, on Monday and Tuesday, mainly because that's going to be the peak of this heat wave. We're looking at it feeling like over 100 degrees Monday and Tuesday. Very little rain chances, only a slight Light chance of rain. Uh, we're looking at uh, the best chance coming toward Wednesday and Thursday, and luckily that will help break up this heat. That is the goal here uh, with that front that's going to be coming in. Now we might even get a, a stray shower here this weekend, and it would come from the tropics. I want to pitch it over to First Alert meteorologist Brian Bachman to talk a little bit more about that system uh, that's still lurking off the Florida Georgia coast that's going to have some impacts this weekend. Yeah, absolutely right, Kendra. Still uh, sitting just off the south. Southeast Coast and the National Hurricane Center still flagging it as an area of interest and giving it still a 60% chance of some additional development in the next 24 to 48 hours. There's also another system that's poised to move out into the same part of the Gulf of Mexico where Tropical Storm Alberto formed just a couple of days ago. That system is long gone, but tropics starting to stir to life, I think would be the main takeaway there. But of course, uh, our concerns here uh, for folks uh, closer to home uh, really centered on this area of low pressure that's uh, sitting just now off of the northeast coast of Florida, the coast of Georgia here too. Now it hasn't been classified as a tropical system yet. It's still what they call an invest area. It means it's an area of low pressure that could potentially become a tropical system and the National Hurricane Center is paying close attention to it. Still centered just offshore here, like I said, of parts of the uh, northeast Florida coast, Georgia coast here. The system is not expected to strengthen much beyond possibly becoming a low end tropical depression as it moves in later on tonight, but it is organized enough to spread some scattered showers and thunderstorms as far inland as the low country and certainly the South Carolina coast. So folks heading there for the weekend uh, really are going to see the potential for some spotty showers and some thunderstorms and some breezy conditions, but rip currents going to be a very big concern at the coast this weekend. If you are headed to the beach, just make sure you don't go in the water tempting though it may be as far as future track. You'll see here this system you know, not expected to organize organized much beyond what it uh, currently is. If anything, the storms will flare up for the most part just offshore. We could pick up an isolated shower or storm here just in parts of the upstate tomorrow afternoon, thanks to some of the uh, breakaway instability. But uh, fortunately, a system that uh, really has a narrow window and not expected to strengthen much further. Much more on the heat still to come in the next half hour.